Each airport in the national airspace system has unique and distinct characteristics. This can sometimes lead pilots to use the wrong surface in taxi, takeoff, or landing operations. Let's take a look at some of these tricky areas from the flight deck. Reed Hill View of Santa Clara County is a small, primarily general aviation airport located on the southeast side of the city of San Jose, California. It is less than five miles southeast of the larger Norman Y. Mineta San Jose International Airport with a similar runway configuration. These two airports are so close that they are often mistaken for one another, even with the considerable difference in size. Reed Hill View has its own Class Delta airspace that is adjacent to and underneath the Class Charlie airspace at San Jose. Two large freeways depicted on the terminal area chart define this boundary. On the rare occasion that Reed Hill View is landing on runway 13 left and right, pilots need to be aware of the close proximity of the San Jose Class Charlie airspace and expect specific pattern entry instructions, especially when inbound from the south. A complete understanding of the requirements to operate in these different types of airspace is essential in avoiding inadvertent airspace violations. Traffic at Reed Hill View consists mainly of single-engine and light-twin-engine aircraft, although the occasional large-twin or jet utilizes the airport. There are numerous flight schools located on the airport, providing training from pre-solo students through advanced ratings. This mix of aircraft capability and pilot experience makes Reed Hill View a challenging airport for pilots as well as controllers. The airport configuration consists of two closely spaced parallel runways with full-length parallel taxiways. Runways 13 left and right and 31 left and right. All ramps, FBOs, and services are located on the east side of the airport. As with any airport with parallel runways, the risk of wrong runway landings does exist. Pilots need to pay close attention to runway assignment, realizing that the tower may change assignment to the other runway due to traffic volume or complexity. The most common wrong surface risk at Reed Hill View occurs at night. A major expressway runs roughly parallel to the runways on the east side of the airport. After dark, this highway is much more brightly lit and easier to see than the runway itself, leading pilots to mistake the expressway for runway 31 right. An additional factor that may contribute to this issue is that runway 13 left 31 right is lit at night and runway 13 right 31 left is not. Pilots landing runway 31 right that have not identified this condition during their pre-flight planning may incorrectly identify runway 31 right as runway 31 left and the expressway as runway 31 right. One mitigation As with any airport with parallel runways, the risk of wrong runway landings does exist. Pilots need to pay close attention to runway assignment, realizing that the tower may change assignment to the other runway due to traffic volume or complexity. The most to enhance situational awareness for areas where runway confusion may lead to a wrong surface event, the FAA is releasing arrival alert notices. A wrong surface event occurs when a pilot approaches or lands on the incorrect runway, on a taxiway, or at the wrong airport. Arrival alert notices are issued at airports with a history of such misalignments. Arrival alert notices are a tool for pre-flight planning and provide a graphic depiction of the approach to a particular airport. There is also language describing the potential confusion. This airport has an arrival alert notice. It can be found in the digital chart supplement under airport remarks, which will then point you to the special notices section. After landing on runway 31 left and clearing the runway at taxiway Echo, with instructions to hold short runway 31 right, pilots are reminded that you are not clear of the runway until you are completely across the hold short lines for that runway. At Reed Hill View, there is not a lot of room between these lines and the hold short lines for runway 31 right. 
The short distance between hold short lines can also be found on taxiways Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and Delta. In addition, the above ground signage for the hold short line is located on the right side of the taxiway instead of the standard left. This is due to the small run-up area located on the left side of the taxiway. This area can be used if pilots are concerned about clearing and holding short of both sets of lines. Hotspot 1 is located at the intersection of taxiways Delta, Zulu, and Yankee. This area is very congested with aircraft taxiing in and out of the parking ramps. Pay close attention to the taxi route assigned and to signage and markings to ensure that you turn on the correct taxiway to avoid conflicting traffic. Hotspot 2 is another congested area located at the intersection of taxiways Yankee, Zulu, Alpha, and the runway 31 right run-up area. This area is not only congested, but a risk of wrong surface departure exists when exiting the run-up area. Pilots have become confused and attempted to depart taxiway Yankee. Pilots need to be sure of where they are and where they are going before moving out of the run-up area. Actively scanning for the runway hold short signs and markings will confirm that you are in the correct location. Hotspot 3 highlights a potential hazard when approaching or departing from runway 13 left or its reciprocal runway 31 right. Taxiway Yankee runs the length of runway 13 left 31 right, and Hotspot 3 highlights the possible confusion between Taxiway Yankee and the runway surface. As mentioned before, this airport has arrival alert notices that also help demonstrate this hazard to pilots. Pilots should note that there are in fact two arrival alert notices for this airport. One explaining the hotspot when landing on runway 13 left, and the other while landing on runway 31 right. Remember, you taxi on yellow lines, you take off and land on white lines. Again. Awareness of where you are and where the runway is will help avoid this type of error. An additional concern that is common at many airports is the fact that taxiways Bravo, Charlie, Delta, and Echo provide direct access from ramp areas to the runways. Aircraft sometimes miss the turn on the taxiway Yankee and enter runway 13 left 31 right. Having a complete understanding of your taxi clearance, including route, turns, and hold short instructions before starting to taxi will help mitigate this issue. In addition, continuing to scan outside the aircraft for markings, signage, and lighting while you are moving will help reduce the risk of this mistake even further. Pilots need to be aware of potential traffic conflict into and out of ramp areas and adjacent to taxiway Zulu. Reviewing the airport diagram prior to taxiing will help illustrate this potential hazard. The last item of note is the taxiway Charlie turnoff from runway 13 left 31 right. It is a large area of concrete with several different leadoff lines. Head on traffic conflicts have occurred when pilots, instead of making the 90 degree turn off the runway, have followed the 45 degree leadoff lines instead. This may seem efficient. But at Reed Hillview, it may put you in conflict with aircraft taxiing on Taxiway Yankee. Unless advised otherwise, pilots are requested to follow the 90 degree turnoff line when clearing this runway. Being aware of the hotspots and other configuration issues at Reed Hillview will help pilots make better decisions and, along with the air traffic control tower, keep the operation safe and efficient. We hope this short video helps you prepare for your trip to the Reed Hill view of Santa Clara County Airport. It's always better to know before you go.